Hello there everyone, Link's here with another episode of Terraria Modding Masterclass. In this episode I'll be covering the basics you will need in order to make an item, whether it be a weapon, armour piece, accessory or a simple block. I'm going to split the video into different sections. The first part is going to be the global item basics, basically everything that is needed in every item. The second part is going to be methods and variables for weapons. Then part 3 will be methods and variables for armour and accessories. And finally part 4 will cover basics for creating sprites for your item. When creating your item, you'll want to add the terraria.modloader tag so you are able to access the mod item class which you will want to extend. You will now be able to override methods from mod item. The first one we will look at is set static defaults. Set static defaults is used for setting the name and tooltip for the item. In order to set the name, you'll use display name dot set default, which takes a string parameter. For example, display name dot set default tutorial item. This will be the name that is displayed in game. If you do not have this, then the name of your item will be whatever your class is called. If you wish to add a tooltip, then you will use tooltip dot set default which also takes a string, for example, tooltip.setDefault, this is a tooltip. If you wish to add multiple lines, use slash n for each new line. These are the basics you need for the set static default section. Now let's move on to the set default section, which is where we will give our item the properties that it needs. The first thing you'll need to do is override the set defaults method. The following properties are likely going to be used with all items, so let's go over some of the basics. First up, we have item.width and item.height. This covers the item's hitbox in pixels. A 32 wide and 16 tall will result in a hitbox that is 32 wide and 16 tall. 64 by 64 will result in a 64 by 64 hitbox. Next, we have item.max stack. This will allow you to set how many of the item can stack. For example, most items that stack go up to 999, but some may only go up to 99, such as bars. If you don't want the item to stack, you do not need this property. Next we have item.value. This will be how much the item costs upon purchase from a merchant. You can use raw numbers like 10402 to represent 1 gold, 4 silver, 2 copper. Or you can use item.buyprice0142 to make it easier. Item.rare covers how rare the item is. This ranges from minus 1 to 13, and you can check each of them on the Terraria wiki. If you wish to be able to use the item, you will need to use item.usestyle, which takes an integer. For example, if you want to swing your item, use 1. To drink, you'd use 2. There are many different styles that you can use. This is required for weapons and tiles. These next two are combined together. One affects use time and one is animation time. Item.useTime and item.useAnimationTime are the time spans of using the item in frames. Soraria runs at 60 frames per second. It is best to keep these both the same. Item.useTurn is a boolean that, if set to true, you are able to turn while you use the item. If you don't want to turn, then use false. These are the basic properties for most items. Next we will cover weapons and the properties and methods that you use for weapons. There are five kinds of weapons in Terraria. Melee, Magic, Ranged, Throw-in and Summon weapons. Each of these have their own property, which is a boolean. Item.melee is for swords and other melee weapons. Item.magic for staffs and other magical weapons. Item.ranged for bows, guns and other ranged weapons. Item.throw for throwable weapons like the shuriken. Item.summon for items that summon a minion into the world. You will want to set one of these when creating a weapon. Next, let's set the damage for the weapon. This is a simple property which takes an integer. Simply use item.damage. While we are on the topic of damage, 
Let's also set the critical base for the weapon. The property you will be using is item.crit. This also takes an integer. Most weapons in Terraria have knockback, which knocks back enemies. In order to set this you would use item.knockback. And this takes a float. The max value for this is 20. There are some weapon types that require more than these, such as magic, which can also have a mana cost. In order to set this you would use item.mana and set an integer for how much mana is consumed. Some on weapons can also use this. Ranged, magic, throwable and summon items shoot projectiles which requires two properties. The first is item.shoot which takes an int. This is the ID of the projectile that will be shot. You would use projectile ID to find the projectile you want. If you are using a modded projectile then you would use mod.projectile type then enter the string of your projectile. The second property is shoot speed which takes a float. This is the speed at which the projectile is shot but be aware some projectiles handle velocity in their AI code. With bows and guns you have to use ammo. For this you will use item.useAmmo which takes an ID. The set ammo will be used when the item is used. Finally we have a few extra properties. You can use the no melee property to decide if the weapon deals damage when used. For example no melee is used for yo-yos. Next is no use graphic. This is where the item itself doesn't render but any projectile that is used does render. Again this is used with yo-yos. Finally we have channel. This is used for items that have special behaviour when the attack button is held, again with yo-yos. Next let's move on to armour and how to make armour sets. Armour sets require you to use the auto load equip setting. To do this you would go above your class and put auto load equip. Then you would choose the equip type. This is an enum so just use equip type dot and select an option from there. For example, equip type dot head. In set defaults, you can set defense by using item dot defense and set the int value you want for defense. There are three methods that can be overridden, which is used for armor sets and armor set bonuses. First is, is armor set, where you can check if body, head, and legs come from the same set, such as in this example. The second method is update armor set, which is where you can apply bonuses to the player if they are wearing the armor set, such as increased melee damage or something else. You only want to set this on only one of the set pieces, otherwise all the pieces will apply the effects. The third method is update equip, which can be used to do stuff such as increase the player's speed while they are wearing this particular piece of armor. The final item type we are going to cover is accessories. Accessories have one method and one property that are needed to make them work. The property you want to set in set defaults is item.accessory equals true. This will make the item an accessory. The method you can override is update accessory, which like the armor, this allows you to apply bonuses when this accessory is worn by the player. The final thing that I'm going to cover in this lesson is spriting with Terraria. If you look at any of the existing sprites in Terraria, you will notice they all have something in common. They use a pixel ratio of 2x2, two two, which means that this is scaled up. When creating a sprite, it is recommended to work in 1x1 one one pixel ratio, and then scale it up by 200% or double the size. This will make it so you can use the sprite without issues. When you save your sprite, make sure that the name is the exact same as the class name. For example, if my class was tutorial item, then my sprite would also be called tutorial item. Also, this sprite needs to be placed where the namespace leads, which should also be with where your class is. For example, if my namespace is tutorialmod.items.weapons, then I would place it inside the items slash weapons folder. That covers everything in this lesson. In the next lesson I'll be covering tile basics such as creating a basic tile 
and also creating larger tiles such as workbenches and similar items. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this video has helped you out, it would be a huge help if you clicked that like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel and want more Terraria Modding Masterclasses, then please click that subscribe button and the bell alongside it to be notified for when I upload a video. If you wish to support me and the content that I create, then check out my Patreon for exclusive content and early access to videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.